very excited to be backstage at the Opera House of all places. Uh, we've never been here before, and I'm guessing you guys haven't. Uh, Joel and Luke from For King and Country, welcome back to Sydney. Thank you so much. I actually think that, uh, I mean, I think one of your first memories actually is in the Opera House. It is. Um, you know, we were born here, and some of you might not know this, but we were born, well, not in the Sydney Opera House, but we were born. I mean, they've got a hospital in the Opera House as well. It's crazy. <laughs> it goes down really far, a lot of levels. We were born in Wurrunga. One of my first, dad was a concert promoter, so one of my first memories was actually coming to a concert here that he was promoting as a wee lad. So this is a real, it's a lot of layers to this onion, man. It's a real full circle moment for us. What was the concert? I think it was David Meese, wasn't it? Yeah, David Meese concert. I've got no idea who that is. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> um, one of the things I wanted to push in on was this, uh, so there's this moment in your life where you all pack up and go to Nashville because your dad's got a new job over there. And uh, three days later, he's unemployed and you're trying to figure out what to do, how this is going to work. What does you today say to the younger version of you? Oh, man. That is a heady question there. Man, I, you know, you, you do look back at that time and and the truth is, you know, when in the Bible it talks about, you know, to have faith like a child. Uh, and I think that was a little bit what was going on from us to our parents. We just had faith in our parents that everything was just going to be okay. You know what I mean? And so there wasn't a lot of worry. There wasn't a lot of stress. I actually don't really remember having any of that. And, and I, you know, and, and mom and dad, I'm sure, I'm sure did, but if I did have my time over again and I could speak to myself again during that, those moments, I would try and log those memories a little bit more firmly, you know what I mean? Because when I think a lot of us are always in, when it comes to a relationship with God, you're always, you're always kind of poking at God to please just reveal, reveal to me that you're real again. Please just reveal to me that you're real again. And I remember when I was pretty young, uh, I went to my sister and I said, how, how, what do you do in your moments of doubt? And she said, you reflect on the past and see his faithfulness. Mm-hmm. And, and so if I had my time over again, I think that's what I would, I would like to have really, like I remember those things taking place, but I think I just thought that this is just what happens. But to know a little bit more of what I know about life now and then to look back and see, wow, this, was, this is miraculous. To be able to like sit in the, the miraculous a little bit more was, would be something that I would have loved to have done. You're back here in Sydney, uh, place of your birth. What's changed in that time? Well, we, we both <laughs> married Americans um, and they're both here oh. today. Yeah. Um, you know, I think for us, this, uh, particularly for dad, is, is a, dad manages us and he's really part of this whole thing deeply. And this is a real profound moment because like Luke said, he, we left in disgrace really. And... Um, so I think coming back, there is, there is a, for us specifically, there's a newfound pride and confidence in, in the family, in God, in music, in redemption. Um, so that's something we're really excited to carry into tonight and into this whole trip is just celebrate that with Australia. Um, it's a different world too. We left, I mean, we left over two decades ago. So we were, we were young lads. And I feel like everything from technologically to socially to politically, um, we're facing a whole different world. And now our hope is even with the night is that we can, in a real positive, life-giving, loving way, put a bit of a lens on some of these things that we're facing. This record, Burn the Ships, is really, it's a, it's a romantic record. It's obviously a spiritual record, but it's also kind of a, it's a social record. And so there's a lot of commentary about where we find ourselves. And, and I feel like even coming back, I've been here with Mariah since the beginning of the month, that um, Australia faced a lot of the same things, you know? And so I, I hope that I hope we can be a little small drop in the ocean of, of encouragement and change and letting people know they're loved. Mm. You both married um, Americans. What do you hope that your wives learn about you on this trip over here? to kind of better enrich your marriages together? Well, the, there's definitely something about looking uh, back and seeing where you come from, mm-hmm. right? And so I, we, Courtney and I went for a walk earlier and, uh, and I was like, you know, honey, I, I haven't been here in, in a long while, but I'm sitting here thinking I've only been here, you know, basically 24 hours since we've come back and I already feel the longing to stay longer. You know, to be here, you know, to be here, to, 
to show the kids. You know, Courtney and I, we've got three boys, you know, to show. And she, was, she told me a story today. She was like, yeah, so I was explaining to Phoenix, our middle son. He's, a, he's four years, but he, he has these thoughts and he asks very deep questions. And we're sitting there going, what's going on? And she was talking about how the, they're half Australian. And Phoenix was like, how is half of me Australian. I've, you know, I've never been here before. <laughs> yeah, like what, 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 you know, what, what's going on? And so I think that there's an element of of being able to go. Oh, Dad's pretty chill about things because that's part of a culture that he comes from. You know, Dad likes sports because nearly every Australian likes sports. You know, like there's some some of those things. And so, I, I you know, I just hope that they, you know, for for Courtney in particular, she 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 just gets to maybe answer some of the questions that she's always had about me. Oh, this makes a lot of sense why he's like that. You know what I mean? And hopefully that end, ends up giving me a little bit of grace and some of the, the not so nice things maybe of who I am that. Uh, probably picked up from just being an Australian, and so yeah, I think a little bit just wh when where who you are and where you come from is important. Driving by the homes where I, you know you can say, "Hey, Daddy grew up in that home." That's the mango tree that he talked about. I think there's a there's a lot to learn from that. Third album, Burn the Ships. Um, you're in a different life phase. Dad married. Yeah. Um, there's there's a depth to your relationship with God and an assuredness in yourself that comes through in your music. Um, what do you want to communicate to um, kind of your legacy in this world? So, you know, like as you track your course about where you're going with your music, what is it that when, when people walk away from a king and country gig, they know about God because yeah. you feel like you can communicate that? This record is, as we even made it and even to this day is it's a real settled record for us. Um, and I feel like there's a real massive piece of both of our hearts in it. And so it's been really wonderful for this show in particular to marry this music with some of the older music because I think it's the most complete sentence we've made to the audience. And that, man, that that, that sentence, which I think is, we, we know, but we hear it all the time, but. I think the way we can say it through music and through story is a special, and that is that you are undeservedly, extravagantly, completely undeservedly loved, and and that uh, there's an opportunity for this grand joy because of that. <laughs>